Does your airplane have the uh, Garmin 500, uh, G500, and the uh, KFC 200 uh, autopilot? Alpha Alpha has one, he's got one, and uh, since I was always talking about the Aspen and the KFC 200, he wants to, we want to explore a little bit of uh, the Garmin 500 and the uh, KFC 200. So stick with us on Flywire. Hey, I'm Scott Perdue, and today on Flywire, we're going to fly this uh, A36, uh, 136 Alpha Alpha with uh, the Garmin 500 and the KFC 200 Autopilot. It's got a GTN 6, 750 Navigator, just like I do, so I think I'm a little familiar with it. We'll see. Anyway, this is Bob Ellis' airplane. Say hey, Bob. Hello. <laughs> it's 7 o'clock in the morning. Oh, it's a beautiful morning. There's not a cloud in the sky. It's uh, 71 degrees here in Texas in the middle of summertime, so it's actually a pretty fantastic day. So let's take a quick look around the airplane, do a walk around, and then, uh, then we'll go fly. What do you think? I'm ready. All right. Before we get started this morning, um, I want to show you something that I did. I, I had the mini iPad that programs the, uh, the, the Garmin system on the airplane, and it's always been down in between my legs on the floor. It was never mounted. And uh, so I went and bought a cheap Sporties case for it and uh, just strapped the back and clipped the back together, tightened up the band, it fits right on the yoke, and you let go of it. Installation takes uh, two seconds, and it's there, and it stays in place. So for those of you that always wonder what mount I use, just a simple old uh, knee pad uh, with the uh, knee strap mount. Control for free and clear. I'm ready to go. You ready to go, Travis? Uh, you ready uh, to go? I'm ready. Portland traffic, white Bonanza. Head departure, runway 35, downward departure. Portland.
couple of things. One is uh, that the system, the G500 works just like the Aspen does, is you set the altitude and the altitude alert, and the G500, you don't set it on the uh, on the autopilot. When it captures the, uh, uh, when the G500 says you hit 3500, it sends a signal to the autopilot and then captures the altitude at that point. And that's how that works. That's exactly how the Aspen works. And you don't have vertical speed. No, that's not an option. And not, a, not an option. That's $13,000 addition, huh? Well, since you only, you know, the, the, $2,600 is the one uh, number I saw, and uh, that's to activate both the, uh, the Opti Pre-Select and the uh, vertical speed, but since your autopilot doesn't have that, and what I'm, what I'm saying here is that it's a function of the KSC 200. It's not a function of the G500. Okay. The, the, uh, the KSC 200 is an analog autopilot, and it doesn't have that, uh, uh, it needs an extra brain to do that. An extra well, box. like you said, that, that's, a, that's a little scary. <laughs> have that thing selected, get it too slow, it would easily do that, wouldn't it? It would pull it, it wouldn't care if you had power on it. It would try to maintain it, maintain a vertical speed until you stall. So right, right the right airlines now, have the same problem. Right now, I'm flying, I'm flying on heading. Yeah. So, we'll go ahead and hit GPSS. Okay. So, uh, my GPSS is going to be here. Hold it. All right. Now, all it's going to do is intercept. See, we're slightly off course. Okay. So, it's going to intercept the course. All right. First time I've ever used the autopilot, literally. All right. So, what it's going to do is an offset for an intercept. Uh, I like that. It's uh, not aggressive. It's only about a 20-degree intercept, and you're less than 5 degrees off course, so that's pretty good. The uh, Aspen seems to take a more aggressive uh, fight at an intercept to a course like that. So I actually kind of like that option. Okay, so everything went as uh, as programmed, huh? Yeah. You're going to have to go over those a couple of things with me again because we we mixed it up a little bit. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that here in a minute. All right, so I'll tell you what. Let's do is let's go to flight plan. And We want to insert the four McGregor. We want to do K, C, T, T, enter. And we want to activate that. Yeah, we might not have to go all the way to, we might have to go all the way to. Well, watch this. I want it, what I want to do, see, look, you know it's going to try to intercept that course. And this is a pretty, because, which course, the pink line? Cleburne, yeah, the magenta line. Okay, the magenta line. Yeah. This is so cool, Scott. This is just so cool. So it's going to try to intercept that. You see the flight director? Yeah. The V-bars? Yeah. So what we actually need to do is figure out the trim, because you're straight and level. There's no turbulence right now. And uh, the V-bar of your airplane and the flight director are offset by about two degrees. They shouldn't be, they should be exactly coincidental. I wonder if I've got the, well, the aileron trim. No, it wouldn't have anything to do with that. It's gotta be, it's gotta be in the box. Okay, so what are we doing right now? We're trying to intercept what it, it uh, Well, what it's doing is it, it wants to intercept oh, the course. Oh, oh, I got but it. But it knows it can't, so it's gonna go to Cleburne it's first. It's taking me to Cleburne. Yeah, and then, it's and then gonna, gonna go back to PWG? Right. So you have to it's, say select and yeah. activate? Yeah, yeah, do anything. Yeah. We're no, just gonna no. watch it. Okay, okay. We're just gonna watch it. So cool. Okay. Yeah. You choose how you steer home. Uh, 
Um, you either do it on the flight plan, you do it direct, or you do it as you do sir, during nearest. So is what I want to do is I want to go back, I want to go nearest, I want to go airport, and I want to go 50 Fox. I want to select 50 Fox. Um, select it, enter. Five zero five. Gotta go direct. Yeah, to direct. And activate. Activate it. There you go. Now see how the U uh, five hundred has changed. It's swung over, and we're still in GPSS mode. We didn't interrupt that, so it's going to go there and hold your twenty one hundred feet. That's pretty good. Cylinders are almost too cool, aren't they? Oh, they're fine. They're all right? Yeah. Blue and traffic, white bonanza, midfield, down by one side of the Okay, gears down. Okay, I'm midfield. I got the gear down. Flaps, mixture, prop, free grain. Gear down two times. I really like those mirrors you have on the tip. I know. 310 feet above the ground. Uh, Boiling traffic, white bananas, left face, oh, one seven for them. You're down. Gear down. Get on the wire. See the line? Okay, now look. Flaps up, flap forward. That's pretty good. You can see your house. That's your house. You get a picture of that. Have you got a camera? Well, the camera should be running. I was going to say, I'll send that to Ryan. Yeah. We just took the took a flight to explore the uh, Garmin 500 and the KFC 200 autopilot in this uh, A36 Bonanza. Bob, what do you think? How did well, it go? I think, uh, I think it was as useful to me as it's going to be to some of you that have the uh, Garmin system with the King uh, uh, Autopilot. So, so hopefully this was, a, this was a good event. We'll know soon. One of the things we learned is, is that uh, he has the altitude preselect uh, enabled in his G500. And to use it, you have to go into the altitude, you have to set the altitude, and then you have to hold it to arm the altitude. But you want to do that last before everything else is all set up all you know you engage the autopilot Last in heading thing. mode you got your climb set up and then the and you set the altitude and then you arm the altitude preselect last 
Otherwise, it's going to reset, and you're you're going to bust your altitude, your planned altitude. So and that's one thing. Now. You'll see that in the video where we discovered that uh, as the airplane was drifting off and doing what it wanted to do until we went to the system and, and armed it. Yeah. So uh, we learned some stuff about uh, the autopilot and usage and, uh, and played a little bit with flight plan. And, uh, some then, approaches, fixes. Yeah, and we saw how the airplane reacts in the flight plan uh, for the next waypoint. We know how to, saw how to add waypoints and uh, then steer to them and then see how the uh, airplane reacts with the GPSS steering into that point. It's all wind corrected and uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, you can see the uh, other videos I've done with the Aspen and the KFC 200 with the GTN 750 Navigator on how to actually shoot an instrument approach. We don't have to redo that, I don't think so. But uh, other, other than that, we saw the nuances of playing with this. And then in reality, it works pretty much like the Aspen did. And, and when you have to select the pre-select. And then I and, hope you enjoy some of the little added features that we put the infrared camera uh, in the in the video with us and the radar altimeter. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty well equipped airplane. It's got infrared. Uh, uh, me, I'm not sure I want to be shooting an approach where I want to use it, have to use infrared to see where the runway is. Yeah, yeah, that's for the deer <laughs> on the side of the runway. Yeah, or when I was much younger and stupider. And uh, the radar altimeter though was really really cool. So hope you enjoyed uh, watching the video. And if you did, hit subscribe because that really helps me out. And if you want to be alerted in the next time uh, video comes up, uh, hit the bell. Meanwhile, we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> we'll see you next time on Flywire.